G'day guys, welcome back to Tig Tech, my name is Petru. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Bash Bunny and I'll do a demonstration on how we can use the Bash Bunny, uh, which is a little USB device, um, to brute force or credential stuff a Windows 10 machine and gain access to it. So um, I'll get straight into it. The Bash Bunny is like a old school uh, Wi-Fi adapter looking device. Um, it's actually running Linux and there are a few switches uh, it's one toggle switch which has uh, three options so the option that's furthest to the USB part um, that's arming mode so you're able to um, plug this into a device in arming mode and use it just like a USB flash drive um, and that's used to arm it with the payloads that you want to assign to switch one and switch two so um, switch one and two, they can have different payloads, uh, which can do completely different things. You just need to remember which is which and uh, which payload you want to execute. So what I've got here is a Windows 10 machine. Um, I've also set up another camera so you guys can see um, the Bash Bunny when we plug that in. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll show you guys what is actually loading on here at the moment or what the payload looks like. So I'll just plug this in. And uh, start that camera up. There we go. Hopefully that will autofocus. There we go. Awesome. So we'll just wait a few seconds uh, for that to load up. And there we go. So it's um it's pretty straightforward um, using this if you haven't already got one. Uh, so when you open it up as a USB flash drive, you won't get to actually see all the root files that are part of the uh, Linux system itself. If you did want to get into that, you can SSH into it. Uh, actually, it's a, a serial connection. Um, so you can use PuTTY to connect to it via serial. Um, standard login credentials are posted on the Hack5 site. So there's a few folders here. We've got a loot folder, which can be used to um, to find out uh, if you have done any attacks, um, credential harvesting attacks or password attacks and things like that. Um, all of that will be stored in that folder. Um, then we've got payloads and we have the switch one and two. Um, today's payload, I've got it loaded up into switch two. Um, so the payload itself doesn't really look um, that uh, appealing it's just a, a script really and this is using um i think it's ducky script that it's using uh to to get this working and then we have a, a user list file which i've just used um my username for this virtual machine uh for the sake of making this short but you could download a um a user list um a username list uh, or you could just include common things like admin administrator root um, if you know someone's name and you're trying to get into their computer you could use their uh, or you could hope that their name is their username uh, there's a few things you can do with that uh, there's also the word list there is a default word list that comes with this payload um, off of github and um, i've cut that word list down just to uh, you know make the video a little bit more quicker um, the very last password there, password123, is the password for my virtual machine. So uh, hopefully it gets through this relatively quickly and um, the video won't go on forever. So I guess um, without further ado, I'll um, demonstrate how we can do this attack and uh, why it's so important to keep a strong password on your computer, um, especially if you're traveling with it. So I'm just going to lock this device. And I'm just going to unplug my Bash Bunny. I'm going to set this into the um, uh, attack, uh, sorry, the switch two, which is the middle switch, so the second payload. And then I'm going to plug this back in. And while that configures itself, I also need to try and make sure that I've um, got it set up on the virtual machine before the payload actually executes. Otherwise, it's not going to work on my VM or work on my host machine. Um, you usually need to wait for it to connect twice in order for it to, there we go. 
So, boom. So now it should start flashing a yellow color. Um, and that what it's actually doing right now is it's using SMB. Uh, it's it's uh, credential stuffing the SMB um, uh, protocol to, uh, to until it finds a match. Um, so it will have it will try my username that I've that I put in the list, so Petru, and then it will try each of those passwords until it gets a match. Um, once it gets a match, the light on that Bash Bunny should turn to a solid green. Um, and then from there, I can then rock the switch from back to switch one and then switch two uh, to basically tell it to inject the credentials that it's just um, uh, that it's just found or found a match for. The other thing is I don't really need to worry if um, the screen times out like this is um, as long as I have my um, my mouse on the password field when it does turn the solid green um, or basically when I'm doing that manual injection um, I'll just need to make sure that I've that I've got that password field open there um, but other than that you could do whatever you want with this system at the moment um, the bash buddy will will try and do the brute force uh, or do the credential stuffing attack itself um, and then once it has that match it will just save it on that device where you can initiate it manually so this should be almost done now um, shouldn't be too much longer if you guys are looking for one of these uh, you can get them from the hack5 website and I'll post the link below I don't think they're actually too expensive compared to some of the other hack5 stuff um, and this can be also used as a rubber ducky as well um, it's essentially a hardware ID keyboard um, a network adapter uh, and a storage device in one really okay so we now have a solid green light on the bash bunny um, so that indicates that it has found the uh, a username and password combo if it wasn't green um, it would be red to indicate that it didn't find a match so this is a good sign so if we just um, go to our machine make sure that we've got the password field selected and I'm just going to reach over and move it into the um, um, the first switch, uh, first payload, and then back to the second payload, and then that will tell it to inject it. There we go, and it's just input the password and logged it straight in. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward, uh, very effective, very powerful, um, and this just demonstrates why you should be using a very strong password, um, especially if it's a laptop that you're taking out and about, because um, if someone's got a couple of minutes with that computer, they're able to just plug a device in and um, uh, yeah, brute force your, your credentials. So that's pretty much all for this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think and uh, like or dislike and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.